It was just before midnight when the first tremor shook the town of Linxia and northwestern China, followed by dozens of aftershocks. Rescue efforts to pull survivors and bodies from the rubble began overnight in sub-zero temperatures amid lows of minus 15 Celsius. Chinese state media reported landslides, severely damaged buildings and roads in the mountainous province of Gansu, as well as water and power cuts. Local authorities have warned of potential further aftershocks. There is still a possibility of aftershocks with a magnitude of up to 5.0 occurring in the epicenter area in the coming days. The Earthquake Bureau will strictly follow the requirements of the Gansu Provincial Committee of the Communist Party of China, the provincial government and the China Earthquake Administration to carry out the monitoring and tracking. The earthquake was felt as far away as the city of Lanzhou, around 100 kilometers from the epicenter along the boundary of Gansu and Qinghai provinces. Earthquakes are common in this high-altitude province, lying on the tectonically active Qinghai Tibetan Plateau. State media said that tents, folding beds and quilts were being sent to the disaster area. China's deadliest earthquake in recent years was a 7.9 magnitude in 2008 that killed nearly 90,000 people in the southwestern Sichuan province.